can create the, the procedurally create all of the buildings from all of the information you've gathered from both the building footprints and also from the LIDAR data and also the data for the trees as well. But what we're going to do now is we're going to look at if you have existing buildings or if a developer has brought buildings to you that you want to add to your, to your, to your model. So here we have the existing procedurally generated buildings with the facades. And we're now going to zoom into the courthouse area or the center of Portland and pick the courthouse building. So the, we have this block area, which is just a simple representation of that building. And we're now going to add and replace that block with a uh, collada courthouse, with, which is textured and rendered. And that is simply imported and scaled to the right uh, georeference and is, is exactly where it should be. And once you've done that, you'll look around and you see that, well, the, you'd like to add some more detail to this area. You'd like to add some uh, roof uh, air imagery, some facade imagery. As Eric said, the you know, city had gone out and taken pictures of all of the buildings in Honolulu, similar here in, uh, in Portland. They have images as well. So to do that, instead of uh, editing, trying to bring in the whole city into City Engine, you can actually select out a subset of the city and using a SQL query, you can add a editable uh, set of data. And then once you uh, add that particular set of uh, data information, so here we're going to say editable, yes, you can bring that into, so you can then take the geodatabase which has been created and you can bring that subset back into City Engine and add the necessary information. So here we are back in City Engine. You go to Import. We have File Geodatabase. And instead of, as Eric did earlier, he imported the whole set, we're just going to edit, a, import a subset. So we're looking at the Edit field. And we just create the SQL query, which is Edit, Yes. And it will bring in that just that small subset of information that we, that we were required to, to edit. So here we see the hero building in the middle, and then we have the surrounding buildings that we wish to edit uh, on the side. So here we'll look at this particular building here, which is a parking structure. So we have the aerial image that we want to apply to it. We also have some imagery that is on the facade information. So we can add that information as well. So we have stairwells and also the actual structure of the, the where the buildings, um, the building uh, parking structures are. And then we can also add the necessary detailed information. So these are multi-patch, multi-patches. So you can take the multi-patch and you can actually edit the multi-patch itself. So instead of having to export this out into a CAD or other uh, tool to edit the multi-patch, you can actually edit it in uh, City Engine here. And you can add the height. And it also you can see it, it maintains the texture that has been applied to the, to the building. And it, then once you have done the necessary edits, you can apply this to any of the analysis you're going to be doing as well. So, so each of these measurements are, are accurate and, uh, and re relevant to the actual building itself. So once you're done with your necessary edits and your texturing, you can then export this back out. So we'll go back out to the Esri Geo database. And we are only want to update those particular features that we edited and once we've done that, you can see that the hero building has been added to our model. The textures have been and facade information updates have been added to the actual model. And we also have the, uh, any of the facade or um, multi-patch editing has been also changed. On top of this, then, if you want to actually add a building to the, uh, to the set itself, what we can do is go back into City Engine, actually render out and draw out the area that we wish to work with, uh, extrude that to a set height, take the, select the facade air, if areas of the building itself, and we can add the necessary imagery from our data collection that has been done by the city. And those are depending, defined by heights and, and ex, extrusions and that. And then once we have this done, 
we can go back in and we can actually edit the uh, structure itself as well. So here we want to uh, show where, there, where we have the, uh, a, a flat roof which has actually been uh, with parapets. So we'll go in and we'll edit the top of the roof here. And you can see that there's uh, defined lines which create angles and also parallel to the existing lines. and it creates a solid, and then we can either extrude or push, or push it down, and then we can add the necessary roof detail to that. And in this case, we have a air conditioning unit, which we we'll need to add the detail for that as well, so we just quickly snap the top of the roof again. and once again extrude that out to the necessary height. So once you have, you, you know, each of these, you have the opportunity to push and pull and change the angles and add information and add, add uh, detail to the, to the features as you, as you go along. And then this can be exported back out to the actual geodatabase and so it will actually be added to your, to your information as well.